two identical circles with center O and O dash and radii 5, which means they both have the same radius 5, are tangent to PQ at the points P and Q. Okay, so PQ is basically the tangent. So the first information is that they are tangent and now we are going to apply the very first property which is that when the point of tangents is joined with the center of the circle, then it always makes a 90 degrees. So my first construction is joining the point of tangency that means P and Q with centers of the circle at O and O dash and then mark these angles 90 degrees right here. That's number one. Okay, now let's read the question further. Respectively, as well as at RS and RS is also a tangent. Okay, so now we have one more tangent coming up here. So let's quickly join the line with the center. So once again, this is point R and from this point, we have this point S and here again, we have 90 degrees coming up right here. This is point R, this is point S. Now, the question says if RS is equal to 24, RS is equal to 24, that means we have a common tangent, but that's a, not the direct tangent, that is the cross tangent and this length is equal to 24. So what is the length of PQ? PQ means the distance between the centers. All right. So we have to find the length of PQ with the common tangent. The very first and very important construction is to join the centers. So I'm just quickly going to do that. The distance between OO dash is also going to be the distance between PQ. So if we find out OO dash, that's absolutely fine because that's going to be equal to PQ. Now, and now we have to just understand this figure very properly. Do you see that there are these triangles, triangle O, R and uh, let's call it V. That's O, R, V. That means this triangle. And we have another triangle V, S, O dash. And these two triangles are not only just similar, but they are congruent. Why are they congruent? Because they have the same radius. Therefore, this line is equal to this line and they are similar as well because they are vertically opposite angles are same two angles are 90 degrees so the third angle eventually has to be same so these two triangles are congruent which means that ov will be equal to vo dash which is equal to half of pq that we need to find out so even if you could find out this length i think we should be in a position to answer the question okay so now let's try to use some geometry somewhere we know that o s dash o dash s is 5 this is the radius 5 this distance is also radius 5 and now let's assume that we have this distance o v equal to x what we need to find out now we already have been given a common tangent and uh, we want to just use this length 24 so from this x i am trying to reach to this length r s so RV now is serving the purpose of one of the legs of this right triangle ORV. So I'm looking at triangle ORV and RV can be said is equal to square root of hypotenuse square, which is X in this case. So X square minus the radius square, which is five in this case. So RV is equal to X square minus five square, all right? And RS is equal to, RS has to be twice of RV. So let me quickly write it down. Rs is equal to twice of Rv, which is equal to twice of square root of x square minus 5 square, and this is given to us as 24, which means the square root of x square minus 5 square is equal to 12. Now we have to just simplify this, so I'm taking a square both sides, so we have x square minus 25 is equal to 144. Now we just need to simplify this, so x square becomes 144 plus 25, x square is equal to 169, that means x is equal to simply 13, because we have 13 is square equal to 169. Now x is OV, and the one we have to calculate PQ is equal to twice of x, which is equal to 26. So the answer to the question becomes option B. I hope you enjoyed the learning, thank you so much.